What's up, creators? I'm working on project two, and I decided to do a toucan. So I'm at the point now where I need to do feathers. So I wanted to just slow down and I guess walk through the decision making of how I might treat the feathers of this toucan. So if you look at some of these reference images of this keel build toucan on its head, um, it's kind of more got like hair. It's so it's kind of like hairy on the head and the neck. And then once it starts to get to the body, you start to see the feathers really come out. So I don't think I'm done yet with the hairy part, but I sort of started treating the hairy part with just sort of like streaks, almost like drawing um, streak marks of different colors that I felt were proper of the hairs in those regions. And now I'm at the point where I have to, I can't just fake the feathers anymore or gesture the feathers. I need to actually start drawing the feathers on, on the body. So after consulting this reference, what I'm noticing is that the, you never ever see just one full feather, unless it's the tail feathers. You can see the top full tail feather, but on the body, you're never seeing a, a full, a full feather. And they're kind of like wrapping around here. The other thing I'm noticing is as I look at different references, obviously the creature can move and, and the way that it's holding its wings is going to change drastically the way that I, I address drawing these feathers on mine. So the first decision that I need to make is, am I going to be drawing more of the back feathers or am I going to be drawing more of the wing feathers where the wing is being held at the side? I'm just kind of like comparing these two references, looking at like making this decision of which is more interesting, which is more compelling. Um, I think it's this one. So I'm going to address the wings as if I was attempting to draw this one as my reference. Okay, so now that I've kind of decided how I'm going to treat this thing, I brought in this reference just so I can look at it. I've arranged it to about the right size. Um, and now I'm going to start. And the question is, which feather do you start with? Well, you start with the feather that's underneath, um, the most. And so it's going to be kind of like feathers up here, feathers up here. The last thing you want to do is start with these because then you're going to be drawing things that have to get shoved underneath. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to essentially try to paint one of these feathers and then I'm just going to stack them on top of each other. So let's make a new layer, and this layer is going to hold this first feather. Okay, so now the other decision I have to make is which part of the feather do I do first, right? There's like this vein. I don't know what you call that in birds, but there's like this highlight vein. That's obviously what I'm going to do last, okay? So I'm going to do just the base color first of the feather. And right now, I don't even need to worry about proportion. I don't even need to worry about like where it's at because I can I can move this object around. I can reproportion it, and I'm probably going to copy paste it a bunch of times. All right. So enough talk. Let's try to do this. I'm just going to get the basic shape that I'm seeing first. And I'm not going to worry about up, what's up here too much because that's going to get covered by these feathers. So the top part of this feather is, is going to get covered. Let's color this in. So an interesting thing is the way that I'm approaching this is almost like object oriented programming. Um, I'm not painting and fiddling with 
blending on the bird directly. I'm just painting objects and then I can move and resize those objects. Okay, so now we have sort of like the flat color of this feather. Now the issue is it's way too flat, right? Like if you look at this, there obviously are some highlights. There's some kind of like bends um, where the light is hitting it a little bit differently. So we need to effectively treat that. So what I'm gonna do is grab a blurry brush Make the size respectable. I'm going to grab pure white. I'm going to reduce the opacity on the pure white a lot. Um, I'm going to create a new layer because I want to be able to tweak the, the opacity of also the layer, not just the brush. And now I'm noticing that on the left side of these, it looks like there's some highlights. And then, so I'm going to kind of like whoosh, something like that. Um, it looks like there's some highlights kind of like down here. That might be a little bit too much. Step that back. And it looks like there's highlights following where the, the, the vein is going to be underneath it. I'm going to, I'm going to wait on that. Okay. So. Now I'm going to erase everything that's not inside of my feather. There's a faster way to do this, which I teach you in the Grey Washes movie. But sometimes I find it's pleasant just to erase a little bit. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'm going to attack the, the highlight. So I'm going to get a sharp brush, go back to my sharp brush. It's going to be fine. I'm going to make a new layer. Because I might want to move this around a little bit. Pure white, high opacity. Now, this is to make real smooth, long lines. Kind of difficult so let's let's raise the smoothing up a little bit let's see if that helps us and then let's go for it something like that now it looks pretty bad right now but just just wait a sec let's actually so i'm not liking this bad let's step back let's try again It's a little bit better. God, this is difficult. There we go. That looks good. That's perfect. Okay, now look at look at this. Look at the light on this highlight. Um, I'm gonna make, actually what I'm noticing, it should be sharp down here, so I'm gonna have to use my eraser to just sharpen that end. I didn't like that. There we go. Sharpen that in. Now, shouldn't be that bright. So I'm going to lower the opacity on this. That looks that looks pretty good. Now you'll notice that parts of this parts of this are brighter. So I'm going to take my eraser. Um, I'm going to lower the opacity of the eraser 25%. Let me get the blurry eraser brush. Make it a little bit bigger. And I'm just going to make this bottom half of the vein a little bit more gray, a little bit more gray, a little bit more gray. Here we go. I think this is a little bit too strong. I'm going to go back to that layer. 
There it is. I'm gonna make that less strong. There we go. Okay, that's that's pretty good. Um, now here's where I'm using my creativity a little bit. Like as a scientific illustrator, you can't just copy like the reference because there's a lot of stuff that the photograph, that particular photograph might not have captured. So you're not seeing the feather patterns in this, but there for sure would be some like, I'm, I don't know what you call the, the, the lines in the feather, but you would for sure see those if you were looking at a feather in real life. Okay. So I'm going to put those in, even though I don't see them in the reference, I'm going to use my artistic creativity and pop those in there. So I'm going to grab a black brush. back to my wet media brush I'm gonna make a new layer and I'm just gonna put up the smoothing a little bit make those lines straight that was a trick that a student taught us and now I'm just gonna draw some of these lines now they look really obnoxious and dark right now. Don't worry about that because I'm going to reduce the opacity of this layer when I'm done with it. All right, let's speed up a little bit. Okay, I did that. Now, again, I don't think this looks good right now, but we'll fix it. I also want to do the edges. So I'll also want to hit little regions on the edge. I think this brush is, it might be a little bit too thick, but I'm not going to change it now because I don't want to change my line consistency. I want my lines to be consistent. And having little nubs that kind of stick out like that, that's not always a bad thing. Because nature's not always symmetrical and perfect. Okay. Now we're at the point where let's reduce the opacity on this layer. Let's see what it, see what it gets. See, it looks a little bit better for sure. Like that. Subtle. Very subtle. Not strong like that. No way. That's ugly. Subtle. Okay. Now we need to decide, like, are we done? Do we need more? I think we do need a little bit more. I think we also need um, the equivalent of what we just did, but in white. So I'm going to make a new layer. Get my white brush. And let's do the same thing, but where we're going to concentrate our white marks are in the regions that are highlighted. Because those are the regions that are going to show these white line marks. And also it looked like on the right side, it was a little bit brighter. So this looks really strong right now. But again, don't worry about this. We're going to make it look good. Now, let's try this again. Even that is too strong. 10%, even that, like I'm thinking. Eh. 
seven percent that's kind of like that's it right there okay now i'm going to do one last final touch this is an experiment um again sometimes like nature's not perfect and there's not like this is kind of a perfect feather so i want to kind of like try to if i can i want to try to like make it um grainy in in some spots splotchy if i can so i'm gonna try to get like um I'm looking at these different brushes these are the ones i want these these scatter brushes okay now i'm gonna get white paint again new layer and i'm just gonna in the regions where there are highlights do something like that and we got to go way down on this again very very subtle textures here that's pretty good okay now this is pretty good like we could be done here but there's something else that I've noticed about feathers in looking at these reference images they have almost like these perpendicular, if you look right here and right here, perpendicular to the vein, and in some cases at an angle to the vein, they have these weird highlight kind of things. And I think we should put those in. So let's try to do that. Let's try to do layer new. Okay. Let's go back to our hard brush is my guess I want it kind of fat okay get the white I'm gonna reduce the opacity a lot and I'm just gonna what do they alternate between let's look at the reference they alternate between light and dark Okay, so essentially what we need to do is we need to try to create a streaking pattern like this. Now, again, this is really strong. But don't worry about that now. Also, don't worry about coloring in the lines right now. I'm not going to worry about that. I don't know if they match up or not. All right. Now let's get our eraser. A soft edge, full opacity. Let's just erase on the edge, clean it up. I think this is going to look really good. Again, you you can't you can't just use one reference. You need to look at many different references. Because the lighting conditions, the focus of one picture is not going to be sufficient to give you the detail of nature. And if you really want to capture that, you got to look at multiple things. Ooh, that looks nice. I'm just debating how much to give it. I like that. I think it's a little bit too strong here, though. So now what I'm going to do, grab that eraser. We'll cut that back by 25% down here. It's a little bit too strong in the dark areas. There we go. Nice. I like that. off on okay that's how you can do a feather
Now let's merge the layers. So let's figure out It goes all the way to here. Where's that? Oh, it's I see. I'm I drew the bottom color under the on the reference image layer. So let's merge that down. Let's clean this up. Okay, now I've got a feather. An object like I said like object oriented programming now I can just position this where it should go okay and looking at this like here's kind of like where the hair part ends and there's some weird feathers but they these feathers probably start right about here so I think this is probably about right so I'm just gonna kind of like position it and then again this the beautiful thing about Photoshop let's just edit copy edit paste and now what we're going to do is we're going to stack these and we're going to arrange the layers such that they're overlapping in a way that is correct. Sometimes you get this really frustrating thing where the movement isn't very fine. It's hard to move it just a little bit to, you know, to fix that. You got to zoom in. And you can position it in a more fine manner. All right, now I'm just going to keep doing this. Okay, so I've layered many of these feathers. Again, I've built up, build them up as they look appear in here now I haven't done this part yet this part is going to overlap over here so you're not going to see probably this region here and I haven't done this part here this breast part breast feathers which are probably going to cover up these tips here I haven't done those yet but those are going to be progressive layers on top but I wanted to finish by saying once I have assembled my feathers I'm noticing that there's definitely a color or highlight difference between how I felt like the body should be colored and how I originally programmed these feathers. So to kind of like merge them a little bit and make them look a little bit less awkward in that spot, I'm gonna grab the color of the Toucan's body that I've used already. And I'm gonna create a layer. Let's get a blurry brush. And Let's try, let's try 30%. What I'm going to do is essentially I'm taking the color of the body. I'm going to paint it over top the feathers so that they feel more like a part of this creature as opposed to like where I painted them before. And I'm especially, it's really this part that's being, it's a little bit awkward. So I'm going to pay special attention to that. And you see how it just comes brings it a little bit closer and closer and closer now i'm wondering if i've disrupted the patterns in the feathers if i step back assuming i can my computer is going slow so i definitely feel like that helped if you shut that layer off look at it so these were what I originally painted and popped on there and they feel they don't feel like they're a part of this organism you just paint that color a little bit over top now it feels like it's a part of that organism for sure so again I'm not done here but I think this is a good tutorial on how to do a feather and I'm going to continue this process build up these feathers and then the breast feathers last and then it will be a much more complete toucan have a good day